In the YouTube algorithm, the people are represented by three separate yet equally important groups. The one that creates, the one that views, and the one that just can't help but react. Under Title 17, I am a member of an elite squad, also known as the Special Viewers Unit. These are the archives. You have two first names. Oh, frick, let me put some cold on my leg. Oh, sorry, so long. Can't wake up. Wake me up inside. Can't wake up. Everybody like or dislike the stream? I think either one counts for engagement. Am I right? I don't know anymore. Okay. Hey, pause champ. Save me from the nothing I've become. That's so negative. Why is goth music like that? Is there any happy goth music? Hi, Allison. Love the sound of rain. Hi, Krista. Hello. Oh my gosh, Terry Green, Jimmy. Kicking it with KJ. Caroline, Gemini. Hello, Capone. Kiki, Stephanie, Green Grapes, Shelly, hello. You guys, give me a minute, what was I gonna do? Bippus, hello. You ready to be? SUP, Sigmund, Diane, Chris, Chris. Go watch my lobster mac and cheese video on repeat. Hi, Allison, I'm good. Sue Allen, Sue Ann Ola, welcome salam. Hello, hi, Charles, Kitty, I'm up to no good. Helene, hi. Evanescence, karaoke, Brenda, hi, Joel. You're getting braces? Good luck. Hi, Carrie. <laughs> yeah, you know. So, Brianna, it's daylight. <laughs> Ghost story. Hi, Paula. Wake me up. I'll do that guy, the crappy guy singer. You got an ad for butter? What kind was it? Lando Lakes? We don't have Lando Lakes here. We have Al Mirai. Okay, I'm going to put makeup to show you how I can look alive, okay? Hi, Jenna. Hey, Tracy. Yeah, I missed you guys. I haven't been feeling like... I hate, hated social media for the last few days. Hi, Billy. It's 0006 right now. Hey, Paul Freed. What movie? That triple burger looked good. Every time life is boring, you don't go live. <laughs> I know. Yeah, the guy sucked. Hi, Shelby. Your hubby makes butter for Land O'Lakes? No way. That's a cool job. Hey, Paul. Your husband's a professional butter churner. I don't know what's been happening on social media. I'm just tired of it. You ever just get tired of everything you see on social media? Green Graves? Yeah, probably Melly. No, I didn't go out for Iftar. <laughs> Can you show us the makeup products? Sure, Kiki. I use the same ones for years now. So I only have to show you once and you'll, you know. Makeup in the... Okay, this is crooked behavior. No, this is, you know, you're fasting all day. And I just, I feel like people think I'm, like, dead to, like, just dead already, you know? So I have to put makeup to show you how much difference... A little bit, even just mascara, just watch, okay? I'm Canadian, yeah. Your butterball was cute. Dank fondue, oh my gosh. I think we all know. No, not sleeping all day. Sleeping in between prayers sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Are you following Nell's trip to cut? No, I don't know why people watch them. I don't get it. She says the most disgusting things I ever heard. Um, hey Jenna, I, I saw a, a snippet of like, I think Jessica Mesca's stream because like, she like streams all their streams or whatever. I'm like, what's the big deal? People are talking about this. Now, 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 like who the hell is this? What's going on? So I go and check and I tune in to her like saying that she wishes somebody she doesn't like would be graped by their father. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm tuning out. Bye. That's enough internet for today. <laughs> so no, I, I don't keep up with that crap. Unless I want to be in a bad, icky mood. Okay, guys. I have to remind you once again. This lovely makeup bag my sister gave me. Anything my sister gives me, I love. Because, you know, I love my sis. I'm not going to put foundation. Because I have a filter. I don't need it. Hey, Siam. Going to Umrah. Inshallah, yes. Hello, Jin E. Pondu. Yoga. Yeah. I just, I saw that and I was like, wow, like she was running off the mouth. I don't know. I don't, I don't pay attention to that side of the internet anymore. Thank you. My heart hurt for you. My sister, you seem to struggle much. A Muslim woman's sister. Eh, maybe. I don't know. I struggle with social, being social as well, honestly, unless it's online. But I do struggle mentally a lot. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right. Just watch.
Just watch. But talking to you guys honestly makes me in a better mood. There's nothing wrong with that. You guys are real humans. What are you going to sing for karaoke? Sing Change in the House of Flies. <laughs> I shouldn't be promoting that song. Um, sing. Let's do Evil Queen makeup. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I can't do eyeliner and talk. No, no, c'est vraiment impossible. Okay, that's step one. <sighs> Yelling and bathing. What? Oh. <laughs> no offense. I mean, I, I really, I'm not like bad mouthing. I don't like bad mouthing anybody, but I'm just like I can't listen to that kind of stuff. Candlelight. Fake candles. Do I have a muslin circle? No. Hi, Cynthia. Horror movie vibes. We watched Cabin in the Woods last night. Do you guys remember that? That movie? A Muslim weight loss group? Um, I don't know why it has to be Muslim, but... Hold on, guys. Aha. Uh -huh. Where's my black eyeliner? I always have to have a cold pencil. Here it is. He really liked the movie, yeah. Because he gets bored quick if the movie's not, like, exciting right away. He actually fell asleep, so he probably I sent him a message like I'm live. Putting white eyeliner makes you look more awake. Yeah, it does. Do I ever watch Teen Sass? Uh, that's a negative. I don't watch too many uh, people anymore on here. Okay, actually, I watch, um, a lot of channels, like, uh, that do, like, compilations. Like a lazy masquerade or like dark side of like stuff, and like um, I was watching a story about this like guy, is it Willie Two Guns or something like that? Like like it was like dark things that happened on live stream. Anyways, this, these people. Hi Sarah. Floppers. <laughs> I'm doing my makeup at midnight because it's a live stream and I want to look more alive. Anyways, this guy was doing shots. Like people were daring him to do shots, and his buddies were like egging him on and like egging him on and like. Somebody sent $21 to do like a huge glass of shots and he was on medication where he's not supposed to drink and his friends were like, do it, you know? So anyway, he did the shots and then he started like getting incoherent, like alcohol poisoning and his friends were just like, like, just like standing there, like poking on his head, putting fa like face paint on him and then he fell over and hit his head and they were just like laughing and like not even calling the ambulance right away. Anyway, he ended up like going into a coma and then like dying 25 days later. Like, that's insane. I'm so glad I don't drink anything anymore. Like, I don't, I don't miss that. <laughs> legally Blonde, what? Hi, Legally Blonde. You know when your mascara is, like, drying up? And, sorry if I miss anyone who came in while I'm doing this. Um, and it's, like, all crusty and barely works. Who has a silver play button? Me. Actually, there's, like, a little dent in it, so I'm, like... I emailed YouTube and I'm like, can I have a replacement one <laughs> that says Foodie Beauty? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> so that way I can have two that in case I change my person, like my, my name, my personalities. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, there we go. I can do more Madonna covers, yeah. <clears throat> Life is a mystery. Everyone must stand alone. That's a religious song. I probably shouldn't sing that. <laughs> well, it's not really religious. It's sacrilegious because it's Madonna. Do you remember that scene from, like, The League of the Rome where they go in confession and the, the priest comes out sweating because Madonna was in the, the thing, the confessional booth? You should. Food Beauty is so iconic. 
I'm waiting to see back what they say about my play button because it is dented. And they're like, if it's damaged, you can ask for a replacement. Hey, punk rock. Kate Middleton. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I'm d I'll keep her in my prayers. Hey, Stanley. I don't know Stanley. So see, I went from looking like I've risen from the dead to kind of cute. I, I look. I went from looking from dead to hi Eva. Hey teardrop. Hi. To um. Really, gal Charlotte. Everyday Travanda. My mukbang was more morose. Yeah. I, my my mood changes like so much. Anyways, I have an appointment with like a mental health group. Mental health group that like helps you. Um, with like therapy and with like psych psychiatric diagnosis. So I'm just waiting for like an official appointment with a psychiatrist. So when that happens, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> oh, he's gonna run screaming. <sighs> it's going okay, Stanley, how you been? I can combine it into a super black. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Freed, really? Uh, that happens. Hey, thanks, Teardrop. How are you doing? Got this, oh. Hi, Victoria, not Victoria. Yes, I saw that, the guy, yeah. I saw that. That was dark. What happened to that girl on live stream? All for views. Will I go? Yes. Hi, Vanna. I know, teardrop. I got lucky with this. It is expensive, like, you know. Because, yeah, sometimes, like, especially therapy, like, it's super expensive. But I guess it's, like, what you... I don't know, people say, well, you should prioritize that, but, like, I don't know. My dentist says I have plenty of black. <laughs> you should fire him, Jenna. Your like a prayer was good at least your first few months. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I always put the cathedral bathroom reverb on when I sing. You have bipolar type one. How did you know you're bipolar? Hi, Ghostface. I think I'm manic or something because I go like insane. But if I have medication, I'm more I'm more like you know calm. Otherwise, I feel like I'm going insane. It's not a good feeling. <sighs> yeah, SUP. Yeah, because I don't have my records, like, I don't think, like, I want to have a more in-depth diagnosis than just, like, depression, you know? Show them your videos. <laughs> I'll get kicked out of here. I'm kidding. Shelly, I just used my, um, audio recorder. Going into mental hospital. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? Teardrop? Yeah, anxiety is no joke. Yo, mama, what do you think about FFG dragging Shannon's husband for being racist? Is there a lot of immigrants in court and does... Oh, like, like, who's B.O.? <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, yo, mama. You just want to want talking points on the drama, don't you? I don't know. I don't really have, like, an opinion. Like, okay, no, I have to say... I don't care about those people whatsoever, so I just ignore, but... Um, I did see what her husband wrote, and I'm, like, 100% disgust this like I can't even tell you how disgusting that is like he basically called like I don't know which race he was referring to probably Middle Eastern people by saying they're sandal wearing goat all I'm saying is that if he said that to Salah's face he wouldn't have one anymore you're a cuckold if you let your wife kiss another man and grind on him that's just you're an idiot. People who are that, like, say racist things like that against other, uh, they're just, they have no brains. They have no brains. I don't know. Don't forget the bomb making. Oh yeah, bomb, oh yeah, so yeah, probably, yeah. So disgusting. It's so disgusting, it's like, just, whatever. I wear sandals and I'm white. <laughs> exactly. And who was that one? The Unabomber was white. So, eat crap. And as I'm saying that during Ramadan, it's after fasting hours, so eat it. <clears throat> I've had Lucky's Love Bonita stuck in my head for three days, thank you. <laughs> it was disgusting and vile, yep. What a stupid- he just named off like every stereotype and thought it was probably funny. <laughs> most people put- and he posted it on Facebook, like most people post like quotes like, you know, live, laugh, love kind of thing, you know, with butterflies. Hi Talia! Cuckold is called the day youth. Yes, you're right. <laughs> yeah, basically, if you- watch your wife um grind on another guy and kiss him yeah Ava. <laughs> i 
exactly. <laughs> but even more racist towards First Nation people, there's a serial killer that targets them in Thunder Bay, Ontario. Oh, probably Brenda. Immigrants do not get everything handed to them coming into Canada. Yeah, if you're mad at immigrants taking your dorps, probably because you're not qualified, you bum. Uh, I'm sorry, I have trouble holding my tongue. <laughs> That's why you said the super chat, your mama, isn't it? <clears throat> Come here and say all those things. Come here and say all those things to a, a Middle Eastern person. I dare you. You don't have the balls. You don't. It's Ramadan. Let's behave. Okay, yes. Let's behave. <laughs> Apparently, he doesn't work too. The blue pillow. Yeah, it's back here. I'm covering it. Immigrants do the worst jobs that people don't want to do but get sick for it. It's always the people who are not qualified and like have no qualifications to work who blame the immigrants for taking their jobs. No, blame yourself. Oh yeah, her favorite word, creepy, eh? Anyways, if I were them, I would just stay offline, but it's none of my business. <clears throat> you like misbehaving? More tasty restaurants for the immigrants. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what I don't like about Cornwall. It's too white. <laughs> you know, actually the best restaurants in Cornwall are from non-white people. They're from Greek people. Philo's, Greek owners, Louis Pizzeria, little cute Greek man. <laughs> he's so short, but he's so nice. Um, Greek man, King George, Greek restaurant. There you go. Yeah, I have some candles from fake ones. <clears throat> Crime scene investigator edition and head detective. <laughs> uh, I don't mean cute as in like good looking, but you know what I mean. Like teddy bear cute, kind of. <laughs> like that, that kind of cute. <sighs> Mm, diversity is delicious, yeah. Thank you, banana. <clears throat> yeah, them for sure, Stanley. I agree. Elemental, I have not watched it, no. I haven't watched like a new Disney movie in a long time. No. Um, Beetlejuice 2 is coming out. Is nobody excited? Hello, have you not seen the trailer? It's about immigration, really? My birthday. <laughs> Am I doing anything special? Salon wants to take me out anywhere I want to go, eat and stuff like that, but I don't know. I have to think about a teardrop. <laughs> but you're right, it is. <clears throat> Crazy, please focus your time on your child and not for because she can do nothing for you in life and best in your childhood. Yeah, really. This loser makes fun of me every time I go live, okay? You should be thanking me. You should be thanking me for paying your bills and affording you to take care of your child and take them to Disneyland with my content. You're welcome, Jay Leno. Shannon talks so much trash about your supposed financial support of Salaga. She's been supporting her husband this whole time, hypocrisy. Thank you, yo mama. You're right, yes. But this is it, yo mama. They're all hypocrites. We've been saying this and it just keeps coming out and coming out. Yes, yes. Okay, like, happy birthday, SUP. Listen. <sighs> I, the things I could tell you about their relationship, I'm not going to lower myself to that level, but they have some nerve. Yes, they have some nerve. Like, you're going to talk about my husband, what he did. He didn't even cheat in real life. You cheated on your husband at least two times that I can count with Andre. What about Andre? Yeah, so can it. You had a whole ass affair. You kicked your husband out. Like, anyway. Some guy she was on with. I already talked about this a while ago. Like, whatever. Hey, I'm just giving it right back to her. She talks about my relationship, so. For six hours on her anniversary, and I never said anything about that. I never I never talk back to these people compared to what they say about me. <sighs> Lord, God, give me strength. <laughs> Yeah, that's easier said than done, Robin. You try being in my shoes and having these moron hypocrites come after you in every way. 
They are horrible. I legally blonde. Hi, Rose. Wife swap? No, I would never do it. I have seen it, yeah. You know what kind of person she is, Chantal? We all know someone like that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. But I've been friends with this person for, like, years. And, like, because of that, I don't like to talk about her, like, online that much, you know? But, like, the things she said about me and <clears throat> my situations have been disgusting. And, like, just making up things about the past. I don't know. Just stupid. So, yeah. She has nothing interesting. Yeah, I know. He nearly hit someone else's wife over a wet floor. Oh, yeah, I saw that one, Talia. <laughs> like, like, full-out almost DV moment. So, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. But wife swap is like, I don't know, it's so weird. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's still cheating. It does hurt for sure, you know? But I think there's levels. Like, if somebody was just caught texting somebody versus if they had a baby with someone, would that not be a lot worse? You know what I mean? Like, no, that would be, uh, no. Hi, Sylvia. That would be like, get me my shovel. <laughs> Mod me so I can time out Valley for 300 seconds. <laughs> Why? She's, she, I, should, I don't even see her here. There's one creator who stalks her. Who? Me? You can forget, but you don't need to forget. Yeah. Oh, the Christian crazy. Yeah, the crazy lady. I'm very, yeah, I, I'm jealous too. I used to be a lot more jealous. But yeah, I am too, Sheree. Oh, I'm so. <laughs> Whatever. All I'm saying is her relationship is far from perfect. She has no business coming for mine. Reactors are turning into lol cows themselves. They call you out for the same things they do. They always did, yeah. They always did. I was like... Anyway. <laughs> Whatever. wrench once you destroy the trust it's done yeah i get that i get that i get that not many people some people do move on some people don't um you know but how i deal with it i just don't talk about it publicly there's no way you can do that and still make a relationship work so maybe gal is in the water box we have a box of aquafina and she is in it sleeping the the um it's just like a box in the middle of the floor and I can't move it now because the minute it got fell on the ground I took like I took all the water out and then kind of just like tossed it on the ground I guess not fell she went inside right away am I done with twitch oh, I don't know I'm done with everything right now Aquafina's made by Pepsi where Pepsi Cola oops oh that's bad Let's take the label off. <laughs> it was on sale. I don't know. I didn't notice. Everything is owned by Pepsi. Everything. Literally. Let's look around for something owned by Pepsi. Candle, are you owned by Pepsi? I swear. My medication is probably owned by Pepsi. AstraZeneca. Eh. It is hard to boycott everything because everything is owned by everything. And you know what? We usually buy local water, but this was like, for Ramadan, it was on sale. So, but I guess uh, now I know. <sighs> yeah, we definitely have some products that I'm sure, I don't even know. I haven't eaten at McDonald's though, or a Burger King or Starbucks, the really big ones. Boycotting doesn't solve anything. A lot of medications and vaccines. Well, I'm sorry, but I need to live, so. <laughs> this is the blue pill I'm made by Pepsi. <laughs> what kind of cancer does she have? Yeah, that's sad. I'm more of a Coke girl than Pepsi. Yeah, I think I preferred Coke too, Sarah. Yeah, it is crazy, Talia. 
Joanna, hey girl. Got to good to see you. I was browsing another channel. They were so worried about you. Oh, well, thank you. Grandma, I don't know. I don't test it anymore. I gotta get back on track. You're making hummus, Shelby? Good luck. Homemade hummus is really good. I made grape leaves. Was it yesterday or the day before? Again. And um, we gave them to the superintendent. <laughs> glass bottles. If you live in the east coast of Canada, they use glass bottles. Did you just hear about the attack in Moscow? Moscow, Russia? About the um, stadium? Really, Widow Tuyan? Wow, I have to look, I have to try that for sure. I know I need to take care of myself. Saying you're in Canada or in jail. In jail for what? Like, what crime did I commit? True, Sue Ann. They don't care if you're rich or poor. Illnesses, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Wilford Burnley says you should check your blood sugar. <laughs> Zoe, I'm not sure. The concert hall. Yeah, I did see that rascal. That's so sad. The world is such a sad state of crap. It's so hard to not be jaded and miserable. <sighs> Brenda, you keep asking me about Iftar. <laughs> Can you change your name to Iftar Brenda? <sighs> I mean, I'm sad for Kate, but and don't hate me for saying this, but like, it's hard to like care about one person more than thousands that are dying every day. You know what I mean? They just like highlight the rich and famous people only. They don't care about peasants. They always say I'm going to jail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to call the Saudi prince on her and have her put away for good. You know, I have a tip for you all who are so vehemently hate hateful towards me. Don't watch me. Like, literally, live your life, man. Live your life. <laughs> Cauliflower rice is okay, but it's not rice. It's like cauliflower. <laughs> this reason was ready to buy a plane ticket 2k and spent two hours at the DMV just to get an idea to fly and visit Gorlick Breath for a weekend. LMFAO, he turned her down the hypocrisy. <laughs> Didn't he turn her down for like a catfish he was like making up? Or no, he was cheating on her with Jessica Messica. Thank you, Yo Mama, for the super chats. You sponsored this stream today. <sighs> I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> Remember that song, I Ain't Mad At You? by Tupac. Anyway. Yeah, you're right. That's really pathetic. Andre Marie, the Saudi prince is very invested in the food beauty. <laughs> yeah, really. It's probably been two princes since she knew her. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's that's really pathetic. Ew. Imagine being attracted to a man lit who talks like this and whose legacy on the internet is talking about me all the time with the most dumb petty things. Then like 10 minutes after I upload, you could just picture him on his computer farting away. Ew. Talk about fart box. You know what? Salah has a lot of sprays you could buy for your um, living at home bachelor smelling your bedroom there. Gorlick. I'm not being nice during Ramadan, I know. I can't help it. These people are annoying. Well, I want to show you guys the new the new air fresheners, <laughs> the new line of air fresheners. They smell really nice. I'm bringing them if I ever go anywhere. <laughs> I'm taking all the stuff. And I'm... I'll tell people I know you aren't talking about someone else's man. Check the last text. Okay, text. Whatever. Blah blah blah. One incident. At least I didn't have a whole full. He didn't have a full blown affair, or I didn't. Hi, Lavi. Do I have to fast? I don't have to. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Teardrop. Let us see them. They're in the other room. I don't want to wake him up. I still drink the Unima uh, Unimate Boy Pot. <laughs> Carolina, I'm busting you up. Where are you going out? Ghost face, exactly. Yeah. Yep. They're not car air fresheners now. 
I'm here for your moment sending super chats like this. <laughs> Crystal! <sighs> Anyways, I'm not the one coming for other people's relationships. They're the ones talking about my relationship all day. So I'm pointing out, like your mama super chat said, that um, she talks about Salah. Her man doesn't have a job either because he's, um, he's, he's raging against immigrants for that. <laughs> and she's had literally several affairs on him. So like legit, like touchy physical ones. Hi Lady J. Yeah, when Sam got married, ugh, who cares? Imagine marrying someone who called your kids unfortunate looking. Garlic subscribers told him to stop talking about you and he continues, but he says you are desperate. Where are they? They're there to watch him pick on me. What else is he, what else is he gonna talk about? He has a channel with over 100,000 subscribers. He gets like 150 views on a video. Like, what's he gonna talk about? It's a rich man, it's a rich man. Don't answer about your ex friend husband. These reactions are waiting to make money on your reaction. Yeah, I know, lovey, but. Kai was dating, told me I was the most annoying person he ever met. That's not very nice, Blue Pot. Don't watch them or listen to them. I mostly don't. They said they're bored with the topic, but he continues to make videos. Of course, he wants money. So he can buy his mom some bras. Or get an Airbnb for his catfish. <laughs> Fake girlfriends. Uh, yeah, I know. And he he's like one of the people who says that I have no content. Like, excuse me? Your content is my content. So I hate to tell ya. Just leeches, I know. They got married and Sam is still on Twitter raging about Belinda and Owl. Yeah, a nice happy honeymoon. Eh? Didn't they say that about me? She's raging on her honeymoon. Well, what about you? You're posting pictures of your on tw your, uh, at the beach on Twitter and meanwhile raging against people. <laughs> Ghost face. We need a leech emoji. Oh my gosh, yes, and zombie ones. Barracuda and Rakata. <laughs> Ew. I know I said that. I was just uh, mixing the grossest things I could think of. Because there was a barracuda in Cuba. Like I said, someone, some of your haters look like the cannibals from the wrong turn. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't, like, this, they're zombies for sure. Hi, Fernanda. Yeah, we saw that. Skorlik strikes me as someone who wants to be intellectual desperately, has a faux helpful attitude, but ultimately comes across like a stupid positive statement at the end of Jerry's finger. <laughs> that is so perfect, Silvio. <laughs> I only know Gorlick from Salah's video. Yeah, he should keep making them. How do you stop sneezing? Go like this, really hard. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. People are just pathetic. <laughs> Les incompetents. Oh. Okay, let's be positive, I guess. <sighs> I say Barracuda Ricotta all the time because of you. Barracuda and warm ricotta. <laughs> Ghost face. <laughs> Ew. Imagine your man said, ouch, would you get the ick? <laughs> Tell you, you make me laugh. Depends on the context, but B plus. We're not a positive flock here. <laughs> We're here for the D, let's not pretend. Gossip is life. Oh, it's tiring. It's addictive though, I know. It's hard for me to like not run my mouth. That's one thing I struggle with, but that's between me and Allah. <laughs> I'm so tired of the religious beliefs from people who are vile and disgusting. Ugh. I saw on your mama's stream, somebody was like, I deserve it. I can't even say it, I'm gonna laugh. Okay, I have to try not to laugh. I can't, I can't say I'm going to Someone said because I made a cover of Madonna during Ramadan that I deserve biblical punishment. <laughs> You're ruining my life. Sing us a song. Why do birds suddenly appear every time? 
you aren't here just like me they long to be close to you 40 lashes for the hair tick <laughs> for every verse of that madonna song oh i'm thirsty hi kitty i started singing and my cap in my arm <laughs> that's old i know Creepy if I ever do go to Canada for Halloween, we have to do a collab. But if I see a ghost, you have to calm me down. Hi, that's not playing. I don't get the blasphemy in it. These people never cared about Islam before I reverted. They didn't care, and now they're all like, I'm so offended. I'm all I care about is that foodie beauty is being disrespectful to the religion. <laughs> That's my impression of no madness. No life madness. <laughs> I love the way you piss the haters off. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Ow. Call oh, no, not that song. Not The weekend. I can't. The weekend's ruined for me. <sighs> you know some music? Another professional's in Islam, I know. <laughs> yeah, Duck Puppet. It's only what Allah thinks. You're right, Robin. Put on your Spotify, Joanne. <laughs> what about us? Yeah, I ruined it for you guys, right, Kavon? I'm sure I did. <sighs> I can't lose you, babe. I can't lose you, babe. Whoa. Tired of being home alone. You saw me there the day. How well, it's an Arabic song. <sighs> My mind is trying to not be out Islamophobic peak comedy. Yeah. Don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> Did you sing every night in my dreams? Sure, mercy me. Politics and religion always get people. I know who does. The only expert in no madness is this. <laughs> Full of hate. Imagine someone hating someone I don't know. I know. Why is Jalo getting dragged? Salah's favorite Western song? Ah. Oh. Probably Pretty Woman. <laughs> Pretty woman. He doesn't know much Western music at all. Oh, I like Duran Duran, yeah. Who do you need? Who do you love when you come on down? Duran 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 and up on. At the seams. Julia. Come out of your box, you little freak. No, we are like signed in blood for it, San Gio. There's a lot of Muslims who go back to Christianity and it happens. Saying it, girl. Watch Speak No Evil, it's good. Really? Okay, I'll have to check. My elbows are really crusty from the voodoo. I gotta put cream. Because I, what? Hungry like the goat? Hungry like the wolf, you mean? Diane Downs? Oh boy, Diane Downs. Uh, isn't that the woman who, you know, Modern talk. Oh. Um, cherry, cherry lady, going through the motions. Love. <laughs> I can't see, you can't see my elbow. I can't show you my elbows. Madonna has a sister. I know she has a daughter with a unibrow. That's all I know. I think unibrows are cool. Oh, Wordsworth. Yeah. Ew. I have to put succinic acid on her. What's that called? It's getting bigger. I want to kind of let it grow. It's grown on me. <laughs> no pun intended. Her daughter is gorgeous. Yeah, I know. What's her name again? Lourdes. I like that name too. Flea Gate. <laughs> They're going to say, ew, she has a ringworm. <laughs> That's always their go-to. Catching strays. Why do you have warts? I don't know. HPV? I think, isn't warts a virus? Sweet Harmony. Oh yeah. Didn't I used to like that song? That's ruined for me. You know what other song is um, ruined for me? Pretty much any song I listen to at You Know Who's House, What's Her Face, um, on her Alexa. What was the song? 
What song did I use? Ew. I don't remember. Good thing. Good thing. But that was one of them. <clears throat> I got a wart on my foot once. It was filled. You never had a wart teardrop? It was filled with water? Hi, tattoo chick. Oh, yeah, love again. I never thought that I would find a way out. Yeah, I don't like that song. I still like Cold Cold Heart, though. Yeah, right, Kelly Goral. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, hello. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? <laughs> Feel, Robbie Williams, you guys remember. I like that song, though. It's too bad it's ruined. Cold, cold. It's called Stone Cold Heart. Sweet Harmony. I forget how it goes. Howie! I gave him some Jer Jer today. Oh my gosh, he's a bad boy. He flipped over his whole food dish. If he gets, like, if he doesn't get his salad or whatever right away in the morning, like if I sleep in, or if I sleep during the time when I normally give him something, he gets mad and throws his whole dish. <laughs> I have to film it. Hi, Blindy Barso. <clears throat> Feel is ruined. Because it's one of the songs I listen to at You Know Who's House. Ugh. I have PTSD from some songs. I swear, if you if you've been if you listen were listening to music at a time when it was really low for you, and you listen to those songs again, they bring really gross feelings. Yeah, I know, Grandma. <laughs> Gee, I love Julia. Me too. You know, I just have allergies, Julie. <sighs> Howie Judas, <laughs> Linda Marie. Hello. Hot than by you. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. <laughs> Scram go. Yeah, she has to listen to Fourth Pyramid on repeat. <laughs> well, I want to be healthy and happy too. I mean, I am mostly happy. Can't be happy all the time. But if I was healthier, but then I like. I feel like if I don't get to eat pizza, I won't be I won't be happy either. <clears throat> Ice House is Australian band. Love their song Crazy. I've never heard it. Well, oh, you're in Australia, ABC. Hi, Lois Delisle. Stanley. No. I don't know. When it comes to Arabic music, mm, I like like Lebanese. Iraqi, Syrian, more than Egyptian music. <laughs> There's some Egyptian songs that are good, though. I think they've been ruined. Hi, Linda Marie, thank you. You had 40 years of eating pizza. You can also be healthy, healthy and happy eating pizza. See, that's, my help, that's what I need help with. My brain feels like it's like all or nothing. You know? Like, I'm not capable of having one slice of pizza. Like, there's no way. Like, for me, it's like not worth it. It's, I can't explain it. It's like weird. Bush Stone Temple Pilots this summer. Wait, the, but the singer's gone. How's that gonna happen? Thank you, uh, Pixie. Pixel Pixie. I never heard of Saba. Yeah, probably Stanley, you're right. What a nightmare, likely fun. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to eat just a few slices. Healthy pizza? I know, but Blondie, it's a given. What about... He's pretty good. I love Stone Temple Pilots. My favorite song growing up was Lady Picture Show. Like, I was young, too. Like, what? 11? 12? No, not that young. I was a teenager, anyways. Lady Picture Show. <laughs> and I used to love Sloan. Do you guys remember Sloan? I don't know if that's a Canadian, but I'm famous with an itchy elbow. Yeah, I know nuts. <laughs> Mercy me. Yes, ew. I'm so grossed out. Fuck. Sorry. Anyways, I want a snack. What time is it? It's one. Oh, I should order order Sahur. But I already ordered today. 
Eh. Scott Whelan. I didn't find him attractive, but I, I liked his singing, yeah. I liked that band. And... <sighs> Ninth Eviction, I love that name. <clears throat> Some people make words purge out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you feel me? I have the AC on like 15. The keyboard. Aww. <laughs> he wanted to celebrate playing the keyboard for me when I got my flag. Makes me sad. Makes me cry because he's so look. He's sweet guys in a lot of ways. So many ways. <sighs> Nobody's perfect. If you get pizza, keep it in the kitchen and only take one slice at a time to your seat. That will slow down. That's a good idea, actually, Robin. Raise bakes. I have I have struck him. Yes. <clears throat> but maybe not as much as other channels because at first I did strike him a lot, especially when he was doing those streams about me. Um, everything for sexual content. Like, I haven't shown my whole list of, of strikes, but after, like I haven't been to his page in so long. I literally just have him out of my mind. So that's mostly why I hear more about, like, I see more. I don't even see his channel come up that much, like, honestly, compared to other reaction channels. <sighs> Like, a pizza is one of those foods that, like, I never order because I'm hungry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I order because it's, like, a comfort food. So. Thank you, Nat. Nice, Grandma G. Salah's doing well. He's sleeping right now. That's just 15 weirdos that still watch him obsessively. The last time I did, does Brizzy still wear those wigs? probably the last time I did see his chat like Salah, Salah brought it up and he was like look at this chat it was all angel hands like what a loser <clears throat> another hack is to turn each slice and rub it around its vacant spot in the box to wipe off excess grease so you don't have to waste paper Ooh, good idea you know the best pizzas come with those little tables in it <sighs> mercy me <clears throat> I was blind but now I see turn into dough in your body. <clears throat> Actually, I don't strike her every time. I don't. I don't strike people every time. She said she's getting a new laptop. You should tell her you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, really. The audacity to, for her to treat me that way when I pay her bills? Like, kiss my butt. <laughs> oh, sorry. I need a swear jar. <sighs> Hello, Kevin. Oh no, Melly, you have handsomest man in your head. Handsomest man. You don't like tomato sauce base? That I, That's what I like the most, but it gives me the most heartburn. I know, but saying kiss my butt is not a very nice thing to say. Wake me up inside the energy. So do I look less dead now? Checking the floss off. See, the collagen goes all around like this, makes it look like I was drinking on the inside of a bottle. Awali, awali. Have you listened to George Wasuf yet, Ghostface? And Mau, Insek Mau, Insek, Insek, another two. How come you never tell us how not dead we look? You guys look perfect. <clears throat> You want my couch cushions? How much? Pesto based sauce? Yum. Just got off work? Woo! Woo! I never had white pizza. Yeah, it's still Ramadan. Mashed potatoes and cheese. Hi, hi, man, and Jamila. I don't have a cold, I have allergies. Oh, Camilla, Camilla, and hi, man. Hi, man. Hi, man. Austin bees are where? Okay, good night, Nats. Thanks for being here. I love jal the jalapeno and pizza. Actually, I like I like olives more. Karen McHill, I'm on my last hour at work. Nice. Yes, Brenda. We just grossed out about it earlier. Millie, 
I don't know. Some people say no. Some people say whatever. I don't. I don't listen to it during fasting hours. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't listen to it and then commit atrocities. So the best pizza is a pile of iceberg lettuce. You. <laughs> yeah, energy egg. The best salad is cheese and salad dressing. <laughs> If I want to eat something really unhealthy, like if I do unhealthy groceries, oh my gosh. Ow, 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 ow. So I had a gasmasm. Okay, last unhealthy little mini haul I didn't show you guys. I got a 500 gram bag of mozzarella, shredded mozzarella, a bottle of French dressing. It's not funny, but a little bag of chip chips candies, um, butter, 20 pack of Indomie. Um, soda, hot Cheetos, what else? No, not on mayonnaise. Yeah, pistachios and salad? No, that sounds good though. Wayans? Never give up on the cheese. French Thousand Island. Yeah, no, French is really good. It's like orange. It's like, I could drink it. I have drank it. I have a drunk in it. I don't know what the grammar is. So you just put a bunch of mozzarella cheese and then you put salad dressing and it's like a cheese salad. It's the best. The burger was good, but I kind of lied about how good it was because at one point, I look, don't look at ground beef when you're eating it, okay? You're going to see things you don't want to see. Ugh. There was like a string. I don't know if it was like a tendon or a muscle fiber. But I was very aware of the fact that I was eating an animal at that point, and I was grossed out. I got ick, but I kept eating it just for, like, the sake of the camera. But, pita chips, yes. Festivals. Well, the best thing about festivals is the food. Ew, Brent, oh my gosh, but, um, it's not making me hungry anymore. See? Don't look at ground beef when you're eating it. I used to... I have leftover ground chicken and uh, meatloaf and rice from yesterday when I made it. And I'm so like I'm obsessed with food because even if I don't order out, if I'm just gonna resolve myself to cooking, I cook all day. Like yesterday, I made. So I was like, you're cooking again. <laughs> so I made breakfast for pita cheese and whatever. Um, and then I made a homemade soup with vermicelli, like a homemade chicken noodle soup with vegetables. Then I made meatloaf and rice, and then I made grape leaves. Oh, I have grape leaves. I'll be right back. Ew. How fussy did I know? Cold grape leaves, yeah. I love Lucy, really? April Fool's Day. <laughs> Brenda, that's awesome. Um, they can be both teardrop. Sham pops you out of the hut? Of course she is. I 
I'm sorry. Hi, Melly. Moon and stars. Mama, don't come in. Hey, sweetie. How are you doing? I'm <laughs> Brenda. Her smushed face, no. She doesn't sneeze much. She yawns, but she's lazy. <gasps> Hi, Marbles. Meep. <clears throat> In and out of the hospital. I'm sorry to hear that, Moon and Stars. Hmm. I'll message you on TikTok. No, I want to try Lava Shock. These, I just put pomegranate molasses all over these. <sighs> hey, Frank. Oh my gosh, you're so good. Yeah, get well soon, love. She's waiting on me to rage. Sitting there like this. Oh my god, she's so awful. <laughs> right? <laughs> A regular leaf and <laughs> beep. Rice is inside. Tomato, onion, and seasonings like um seven spice. A little bit of cinnamon. Pepper. I know, creepy. Me too. Ugh. I'm sorry. I keep choking on them. I'm sure you don't want to watch me eat these and choke. So I'll just have one more. Hi, Joanna. Yeah. Sorry, sorry guys. <laughs> DXR. Well, it comes to them. Mm, nice. Great. Thanks for your sharing. <laughs> Me. Yeah, I do want to do a health journey. Yep. You're not even going to see it coming. You're going to be like, what the heck happened to Foodie Beauty? I almost choked on a grape leaf. You like wearing your scuba diving. You like being um, an uneducated moron. <laughs> mm. Yeah, no, I don't tear up. Me too. <coughs> no, come on. Okay, one more bite. <clears throat> you think disrespecting an entire religious garb has any effect on me personally? You're just insulting an entire religion, so that makes you look like an ass, not me. <laughs> it doesn't bug, bug me. What's a carbon fiber? Hell yeah, have you ever had this Ramadan juice? Does anyone speak Arabic? What does it say? I don't know what that says. Oh, that goes okay. Oh, Space, you really love this music, eh? Fruit? No, I know the fruit part, but the Arabic part is. <laughs> hey, little nitty. Oh. <laughs> Meat is annoyed, having none of it. I don't know, key, key, key. The heat here. <laughs> if anything, I would escape the heat, but I don't know.
I miss things. You know. My cats, the weather, hanging out with Pete's, of course, he was my best friend, right? He was my best friend. Um, my family. I don't even have to say my family, obviously I miss them. My mom was like, cutie, why don't you come down for the summer? The, su the summer, I'll, I'll buy you uh, new t-shirts and clothes from Pennington's. I was like, I can't wear t-shirts in public. <laughs> Yeah, Pete. She probably can't find a job with her record. Yeah, it'd be hard, I guess. So making fun of Foodie Beauty over and over, and sounding like a petty, pet, petty child, stunted child is better. <clears throat> I don't drink juice during Ramadan. I know. That's the thing. I should be eating healthier, hydrating stuff. Yeah, my mom is Sheree. Thank you. Go through your journey in peace. I f it's hard being judged, right, DXR? Hi, Melissa. <clears throat> Fanta orange dries my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> She's very petty and has no valid talking points. They, none of them do, hardly. Most. Fermented grape juice. Maybe that's what this is. I'm producing veggies. Yeah, Melly. I find I drank celery juice once and I felt like, whoa. <laughs> you want to move to New Zealand outback? I watch a lot of drama sometimes on, well, not all the time, but sometimes on TikTok about from like Australian drama. Do you guys ever watch that? being judged but I always found judging others incredibly easy yeah uh, it's like gaining weight versus losing it <sighs> I drink juice but fortunately not healthy juice yeah well not everyone has a juicer you know it's a pain in the butt too it's distracting from your purpose it really is jelly juice what anyway I want subway I mean sub stop not Subway. Australian true crunches. <laughs> I have no more cold water. I gotta drink comic book would be disappointed right now. Bees and be I'm Australian, it's beautiful here. Yeah, it is, I bet. I juice beets. Celery, cucumber, kale, spinach, ginger, purple, cabbage, fresh lemon, parsley. <gasps> it tastes like crap, but I down it. <laughs> um, oh yeah, that would taste weird, but I probably I think I would like that flavor. I know, I know people like that, Linda Marie, that like room temperature. I love it, ice cold. I did sew some things, yeah. I fixed a couple of my abayas that had some little holes here and there. My underdress. Because like under my abaya, I have this, it's pretty skin tight, but um, under my abayas I have these like this dress that's like covers everything, head to toe. And like, uh, it was ripping at the shoulder, so I sewed that, fixed Salah's sweater, you know that gray sweater he loves? Julia, cat, they want you to rage. I might get a bit sassy, but I'm not. They're not I'm not gonna rage over useless people. <laughs> Imagine waiting around for someone to rage. What kind of life? Like how embarrassing. I'm trying to drink one twenty ounce of water a day. Oh yeah, it's hard to chug cold. I know. No, I can't put tuna. I don't like hot tuna. Like on a potato? I don't think so. I want to try the beans and cheese on it though. I miss Farm Boy, yeah. Oh my god, the cheese section. <laughs> do you have clothes on the Abaya onto you? Oh, incognito type? Whatever. <laughs> they do hot cross bun pies at McDonald's. Hot cross buns? Pies? That sounds good. Although I don't really like hot cross buns. But yeah. I think I better go because my phone is at like 
maybe less than 10% and my, my, my leg. The cushion move is probably the goat. My decorations fell. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <clears throat> and no, I'm not going to live my life checking people's incognito tabs. Where have you been being an inspector gadget? I won't live that life. I'd rather not be with a person than live like that. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> On the flags, it's like a little, um, it looks like a mosque and a moon. Bye, Cherie. Yeah, I'm going to go soon, too, in a few minutes. Inspector Gadget. <laughs> yeah, I know. No thanks. I used to love that show. <laughs> Good night, Carrie. The pillow police are shook. <laughs> Inspector Gadget was my favorite show. I remember watching it really early in the morning before school, eating cold cereal, Rice Krispies with banana. Ugh. That sounds good right now, actually. <laughs> but as a kid, go, go, gadget. Sciatica leg. No. Good night, Linda Marie. Until next time, yes. Yeah, like, um, Italia. If you, if you have beans and cheese on a potato, you're going to need a lot of Salah's fart spray. I'm just joking. <laughs> <clears throat> All purpose. Eggo waffles with syrup. Yeah, yeah, I like, um, bye, Blondie. Yeah, early morning Inspector Gadget and Care Bears. I can hear, oh, do do Inspector Gadget. Go, Gadget, go. <laughs> Bionic swing. Anyway, I better go lay down. Go for a big gray, please. They do make toilet spray for when you go, yeah, you know. Care Bears, yeah. <laughs> I used to love it too. They're about to do NASA Zoom. <laughs> the conspiracies just make me laugh now. Seriously. <clears throat> if I hear about them. Catch it. The live action. I don't think I've seen it. Who played it? Who played Inspector Gadget Bob Saget? Oh. Is Tim Allen still alive? I don't know if it's random, but... Sometimes I wonder if certain celebrities are alive. I better go Google things. Do you ever go down a rabbit hole when you're Googling? I don't like Pop Sagan. Oh, he's not alive anymore. Oh, Matthew Broderick was Inspector Gadget? <laughs> British Peanut. Saturday morning cartoons, yes. I like watching the commercials too. Yeah. Oh shoot, yeah, I, I did do that creepy. 5% battery, I gotta go. Okay, thanks for beezing. And uh, thanks, Dr. Puppet. Okay, yes, yes, Valley Girl. Okay, yes, yes. <laughs> Bye, guys. <clears throat> I read out all comments. Bye, me. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm. See you on the flip side. Good night. Good. What is this? Hey, Michelle. Michelle. Darren A. Close. Michelle, Lisa, hello. Hello. Thank you, Iona. Uh, Bismillah. Hi, Krista. I'm gonna put my mic on after I eat so you guys don't hear this. Eating sounds too loud. I'm Sarah Jean, why the come so loud? Hello. Hello, Aerotrans. Thank you, yeah, it's an undercap. But I bought a few of them, I forgot to put it in my video. I'm so mad at myself. Hey, Jack, kiki, kiki, kiki. Thank you. A level. Broke. I have some chapatis, fries. I'll show you guys as I eat it. Hi, Vanessa. Spicy chicken. Pickle soup. 
No, Chris, not yet. Mm, the tan one? Thank you, Jaina. It's a little intense, but I did it quick. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Sarah Jean, that's funny. <laughs> Good surprise. Chipotle, yum. Good stuff. Hi, Caroline. Hey, Freya. So I had a nap today after Asher. Oh! What's that? This thing blew up. Hey, Boo Plot. Giving Mimi. Mimi was a suck. Welcome to Lamps, you Anne. So, anyways, I woke up to hearing the attend for um, Maglib for breakfast time. So I'm like, oh no. So I woke up, just had like some little things in the fridge, some dates ordered, and it was busy. So food just got here. Really, early friends? Hi, little nitty. I was just filming that mall Chinese vlog days ago, but posting it now to cover your border hopping. Why do people care? If, like, even if that was the case. What's the tea? Like, really? Yes, Brooke! <laughs> After so her post fadger dreams? Yeah, I had some weird dreams last night. Oh my gosh. I had a dream that I had to do number one very bad. And, um... Like, so bad. And I kept having to go into the stranger's home to go to the bathroom, and it wasn't, like, giving me relief. And then on the, while I'm, like, going, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I have a catheter. And then I had to try to get to a clinic. Oh, my God, it was just weird. <laughs> Blue pot. After fasting time, I guess. No, yeah, I still do wear makeup. Whatever. Hello, Paul Freed. Hi. Chicken sandwich. Yum. I love those. Uh, sure, Michelle. You guys can ask questions if I'll answer them. That's a different story. <laughs> By the way, I saw a few comments. What kind of pizza? Yum, Krista. What's the beef ribs? <laughs> I'm eating sambusa, fries. Chapati 65. Anyway, somebody must have been saying something that's not true from one of the reaction channels. I can probably guess who. That my husband doesn't have a job, so I, I get these comments. I can tell when someone's been talking crap because I get stupid comments, okay? Number one, he has a business. So how does he have no job? Thank you, Jenna. Hi, Star. 822 here. Catnip, yum. Number two, how do you know he doesn't have another job? Like, you don't know anything about this, anything about his life. You don't know anything about this situation, okay? But if it's coming from the reactor, reactor, I think it is. If you're going to call anyone's man a bum, <laughs> what about yours? Your history of uh, men who got you eight evictions. So please. It's no one's business, yeah. But... People like to say, look at Pete, he never had a job. Actually, in his defense, we work at the same call center, making decent money for the time. At least it's a job, okay? Don't crap on my job, I guess. We had a job, we were younger. We worked at the same place for years together. Then he worked at Walmart. Then he had another customer service job for a few years, which he walked every single day, like a couple of miles to get to, in the snow or not. 
The only time, and he has a job now. The only time he didn't have a job was when he was doing YouTube. Hi, Squeaky from. And he was earning some money. So if someone's going to sit there on their high horse and lie and say that this person was a bum, didn't have a job, <clears throat> and then make fun of me for being with the swordfish who was a leech, the only only person, the person I was with before, um, uh, no, after Pete's, had, still has a job, had a job the whole time. So where is that coming from? Lies, lies, lies. And um, yeah, if you're going to sit on your high horse and say that my men that have been with ha haven't had jobs and are bums, how about look at the bum you were with who caused you, apparently, according to you, to go to court eight times for not paying rent? Yeah, suck it. <laughs> yeah, for you. <laughs> I wish I could have no job. Start a social media account. People think it's, like, easy. It's easy if you're going to use my name for clout and views. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, I had a hysterectomy. It's easy to go online and say things like, Ew, Foodie Beauty's fat. She's in a fake marriage. All the same crap that's parroted all over Girl World. Yeah, that'll get you easy money. <laughs> go for it. But if you're doing things from scratch, it's a different story. I know. I'm an alicat. Exactly, Star. I don't give a crap about him, Blue Pot, whatever. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Touche? He's, no, he's here, Brenda. He's usually always here. Um, he has a business. He has business partners, but he's also in the business. Hmm. Um. Hi, Levy. Because he's available a lot during the time when you go live. By that, lo by that logic, then the people who stream snipe me and react to my content almost immediately after also have no jobs, like they claim, right? Because they always have the time. Look at, look at uh, just beaten today. She has all the time in the world, every single time I go live, to stream snipe me so she can afford to take her kids somewhere. A lot of free time. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> the bees are sprayed. No, the bees are sprayed all done. I still have some. But that was like a... Just kind of like a limited time thing. I was like, make me a bees or spray. But if I was in Canada, I'd be able to get get it to you guys. Shipping is too costly here. Hi, Levy. Don't trust anyone. It's hard to. Ooh, yeah. Watermelon soda. Okay, this is chicken 65 chapati so it's chapati bread which is this <clears throat> i guess i'm always eating what what about it at least i don't hide behind a camera fat i show myself and it's like a homemade indian bread very popular here and it has chicken 65 which i don't know what that even means it's like a sauce for chicken and french fries and like spicy mayo it's so good I didn't check anybody out, Connie. No. <laughs> I wasn't checking anybody out. <laughs> I can honestly say, with my whole chest, this whole circumference, I have not seen a more handsome person in Kuwait than Salah. So. I'm not joking. I'm, I'm not just saying that. 
I mean it. So why, when I have eye candy like that, would I bother looking at anyone else? Maybe I was staring at something else, I don't know. <laughs> Retired chicken? <laughs> A chicken 65! Oh my gosh! Natalia, I miss quitsineries. Ooh, curry jack, yum. Where are the mods? It's okay, I can handle people. Where are the... No! I'm sorry, I don't agree with you. Oh, I love these things. These? I made a song called Handsomest Man. I don't front, okay? Babe! Hi, babe! Hi, Roach! I mean it. Hi, Patrick! Sambusik. We saw the Snickers. <laughs> no one's perfect. <coughs> Syrian food. Falafel. I know other countries have falafel too. Food from, where is it babe? Syrian, Lebanon, the Levant countries all have similar um, dishes, but I did my clubo once. <laughs> yeah, squeaky. I agree. Hi, Gemini. Hi, Fernanda. Someone said chicken 65 is retired chicken. <laughs> I get to eat internationally. Mm. This one is not crispy anymore because it was delivered, but when we pick them up from breakfast places and they're fresh, yeah. Jenna! <laughs> I actually can see that. Squeaky Adonis is awesome. Did you see their olive bar? That and Farm Boy. Thank you, Shelly. Tastes like old Christmas. Like when you open a box of like old Christmas decorations. I know what you mean. Yeah, babe. Hi, Rhonda! Oh! Can you be my nurse? Each country has its own way to make falafel or other stuff, yeah. Hi, Gemini Gem! Loyalty 24 months! Oh my god! Ready, set. You're getting the bat wing. Please. <sighs> These are so good. I know someone's counting. Where's Henry Reed? Remember? The person who used to count the lakmas I would eat? Who's counting how many sambusek I eat? One more chicken, 65. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Brenda. Mm. Oh, okay, Lisa. <laughs> nice. How much warm up? Nice. Nice, Weeky from. <laughs> Blue pot, yeah. Probably. True, Natalia. A latte americano. I like cappuccinos. I think in order. Cappuccino, latte, and and then americano. <laughs> americano feels too raw. Like no one's holding your hand in the process of drinking it. Nice, Paul. Good luck. Mashallah. <laughs> Lisa. This one doesn't seem to be deep fried, but it probably has the same sauce they use. What blue pot? <laughs> I know, squeaky. I know what you mean. You like the mall vlog? That was a fun day yesterday. <laughs> like, um, I walked a lot, but yesterday, my leg wasn't hurting too bad, but I still walked slow. It's weird. I find my leg doesn't have the same strength as it used to since this incident. 
Your life at the Villa pre-online dating was fun and harmless. I agree, Blue Pot. I agree. It was fun. No, wait, was that the love of my era? No. Hi, Joanne. I'm feeling okay, actually. Hi, Tracy. How are you? If you could get a dog. Which breed? Probably a golden retriever or a borzoi. A borzoi. Something with a long beak I can grab and kiss it. It was not so yesterday according to internet detectives. There's like literally, like how can they prove anything? Like what? It was literally yesterday. Hmm. I can look for the receipt from the grocery place. Yeah. I probably already threw it in the garbage. I'll go look at my garbage just to shut people up. <laughs> I've never been on one. A cruise, no. Your filter changed the Chinese box from a square to a rectangle? <laughs> I can't. If aliens exist in this world, come adopt, come adopt me. Come take me away from this planet. I don't want to live on the same planet with morons like this. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> No probing and we're good. <laughs> Vlog from the ship. I do want to go on one someday. <laughs> yes, babe. If they had a life, they wouldn't be obsessed with others online. Yes. This is true. I mean, think about it this way. When you watch a movie, this is entertainment, okay? But when you watch a movie, you watch a TV series, do you then log off and then obsess about every little detail about that thing that you watched? Oh yeah, the Snickers? Actually, everything is still in the bags. The Snickers, there's still some left. <laughs> there's a few gone, a couple gone. These, you have to, these guys, okay, this is a treat. Syrian dried apricot. Oh my gosh, you guys. If you like fruit leather, oh, you will love these. Howie is on vacation. Hi, Cream. I think it's funny how they think you're this diabolical mastermind and con con constantly trying to bamboozle us. Yeah, like I'm constantly trying. That's, that's what's annoying is like none of it makes sense. Why? What's the motivation to do this? You know, like... Mm. When I have a health journey, Shelly, I'll share. But right now, I don't know. As you can see, it's not that great. Thank you, Kim Richards. How the heck is that your business? Chantal ain't your close family or friend. And she's not paying your bills. What did they say? I'll go get Harry after and give him a french fry. Hi, Tracy. Yeah, it's like a fruit roll-up, but thick and apricot. Oh, Natalia, no. Vanessa. I need five gallons of water now. I'll be right back. Don't be while I'm away. You hear me? Yeah, before you come for my husband with his job and job shame him 
You're gonna tell me that nobody in those audiences works at a Wendy's or something? So don't job shame people. I'm not saying Salah works at a Wendy's, I'm just saying people use that as like a lower end job. And if you're insulting him, you're insulting everybody in the audience who has like a, a lower paying job or um, a job that you don't think is sufficient, even though you don't know how much Salah makes, you don't know, you know what I mean? His job is fine, it's perfect, obviously. And if it wasn't, he could do something else because he had jobs. Like he supported himself with his business before he met me. You know, it's no one's business. No business, no one's business. I want to work at Wendy's, you get free food, right? <laughs> Hi, Rudy. Cheez-Its are good. Hi, Lynn. Yeah, even if you work at Dollar Tree, it's still income. Nothing wrong with that. You know? Imagine someone said that I don't have a job while I'm a business owner. I can buy their basement rent all at once. <laughs> their basement rent. <clears throat> the apartment situation? You mean the change of furniture? Well, the apartments, yeah, well, I was getting, like, I like our old places, okay, but I was kind of like, a few things were happening in my brain. I was thinking... I think the no windows were getting to me a little bit. Like, I don't, I don't, like, we always have our curtains. I don't know. Like, just having them, I think, is, like, helping. I never open my curtains, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. But I just kind of wanted somewhere bigger a little bit. A bigger kitchen. Um, I was thinking, like, I really want a cat. And they have to have windows. So a few things were going on. So we moved, like. Of course, we're going to move from his bachelor pad. Like, he was living there alone. <sighs> it was cozy, though, but. Then we moved to the other one. Now this one has two bedrooms. A oh, nice view of the sea. Yeah, I agree, babe. Mind your business, touch grass. Bye. Blue pickle soup? We need to see outside. <laughs> yeah, that was why yesterday was a nice time because I did go outside. <laughs> It's not that busy during the week. Things are more busy on weekends and we avoid that. But before Iftar, you know, it's not as busy. He had his own house, like in his own place. I didn't mean like a mansion or a big house. Yeah, I mean, exactly. preparing gifts for yeah like you know what I was watching very popular like millions of subscribers a Muslim couple on TikTok they're like have iftar with us they got in the car and went to to get drive through nobody's cooking a huge iftar meal every day like no way sorry but iftar just means breaking your fast it could be anything <laughs> could be worms if you wanted to well no I don't think worms are halal <laughs> Blue pot, like, why would I do that, though? Like, I, I didn't say that. I have my own debts. I have my own bills. I need to make money, too. But to say that, I like, somebody who doesn't earn any money is just not right. And they can't keep the same consistency with their stories and lies. First, it's, I'm so broke. I can't afford to go anywhere. I can't afford to do anything. But, yeah, my husband's with me for money, which I don't have, apparently. Um, you know, so it's, like, super stupid and inconsistent. It depends, Gemini Gem. You can find, like, cheap places, but they're not posh, you know? <laughs> it's a, it's cheaper, for sure. Like, this place for a two-bedroom, and it's, like, number one, you never pay any of your utilities. It's just rent, and that's it. And 
some money that you give to the superintendent every month because they also clean your car. Because your car will get a lot of sand dust over time. Yeah, if he didn't love me, like, why would he be with me? Like, look at all the problems I have. <laughs> yeah. He's young, like, I can't have kids, I have all these diseases. Well, not, like, you know what I mean? I have a lot of illnesses, a lot of problems. I'm not making what I, a fraction of what I used to. We're not going to Canada. I don't think I'll get a maid after all. No, I'm keeping up with it for now. Sometimes, like, I have days where I'm not feeling well, you know? These haters, I can't. <laughs> really selling yourself. <laughs> well, I make him laugh. We have fun together. I'm very loving. Um, what else? I'm beautiful. Right, babe? <laughs> um... What else? <clears throat> I can sing like anyone, no one else. <laughs> Snoozy, I'm eating sambusa, fries, chicken 65, falafel, government funded falafel, fruit leather. And that's it, now I'm full. Oh. Done. The love documentary coming up. Thanks, Michelle. The whole circumference. Hi, Sylvayel. Can you sing Seasons Change? When the seasons change, my love won't change, girl. I can't do my Monty impression and my um, Skinny Queen impression are the exact same. I can't differentiate the two. <laughs> I contribute the <laughs> stress. Yeah, that's true. I always go. <laughs> Thanks, Snoozy. Did you see someone literally counted the frames in your videos? What? <laughs> Stop! <sighs> Alien invasion, inshallah, soon. What do you mean counted frames? What does that even mean? Can you speak in, uh, you know, terms of people who don't, uh, like, non-obsessive terms, please? For Garfunkel. I could, but no. <laughs> I love for r <laughs> Rhonda, someone said she sounds like a long fart, and I can't. I can't. That is so true. Frames from chin to stomach. Blue pot, or Brenda, whoever said that. However, you want to spend your precious time on this planet, go for it. I'm fat, and I don't hide it. There you go. Well, I mean, I have to hide it. <laughs> Sort of. But before I was Muslim, did I ever hide my body? No. Did these morons hide their bodies? Yes. Did they look worse than me and Amberlynn? Yes. Egg on legs, egg on legs situation type deal. Oh yeah, Vanessa. She was cool. Thank you, Marvelous Bailey. Ghostface. Hi, Ghostface. Okay, I need to record a Madonna song after this. Which one? <coughs> oh, Vanessa. S Jam in disguise. Oh yeah, remember when he said he was coming? He was in Ottawa and I freaked out. Well, what I was going through, I was paranoid. At the end of the day, the haters' opinions and praise of fans don't matter. You have to start taking care of yourself as soon as possible. Yes, I agree. <laughs> You're out of breath. I already did let Isla Bonita. It's up there. There's a picture of me with Madonna hair, but I look more like Mozart, but whatever. Take a bow, the night is over. This masquerade is getting older. Lights are low. No, I want to sing um, something. It's like When she was doing the Immaculate Collection, her voice was really nasally. And then whenever she got to, like, you know, bedtime stories and albums like that, it was more... <clears throat> I'm 
hung up. No, I don't like that song. I want you the right way. Your relationship with Allah is not for anyone else to interpret or judge. Thank you very much. God gave me this personality, okay? So, <laughs> he made me a beezer. La Vida Loca. What is this one? My birthday is in three days. Ray of Light. No, I don't like that one either. Cover a RuPaul Paul song. Don't you like a prayer? It's <laughs> Well, I like that song, though. But yeah, it's probably not the most appropriate, but... Blue Pot, can you say something inflammatory? Get out of here, you Josh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Kim Richards. That would definitely be not good to sing. Who's that girl? Baby Yan is that girl. Madonna classics are the best, yeah. Can I put you on speaker and you tell my manager there's an emergency and I have to leave work right now? Okay. What's your emergency? <clears throat> okay, am I on speaker? <laughs> Hi, I'm Marie. And what kind of job do you do? So I don't know what kind of emergency. You know, like, everyone evacuate. Somebody spilled all the cookie first cereal in aisle seven. Everyone go home. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marie. I go space. Oh, sorry, Michelle. I'm sorry for your loss. May West? Oh, I don't know anything by, by May West. I don't think Kena Bear. <laughs> <laughs> eh. My intro. Tree Lady? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chef Shit, I can't wait to try some of your Bubba Ganoush. <laughs> Hi, SCP! Hi, Heather. Hi, Cynthia. <laughs> you have just tested positive for Ebola. <laughs> Jenna's job. Jenna just tested positive for Ebola. She needs to quarantine immediately. Bye. Your sofa looks so comfortable for naps. <laughs> yeah, look at all the pillows. <laughs> That's nap position pillows. <clears throat> Thank you, Cynthia. No more talk of best jam. Eileen is S jam. I'm just joking. <laughs> My teeth are shiny today. Your dog fell down the stairs. Go tend to your dog. <laughs> oh no. The ever relocating pillows. <laughs> yeah. Frame by frame. Tell me you have zero life and anyone in your life who loves you without telling me that you have no one who loves you and no life. Because if I was in the life of somebody who I loved who was doing these things, if I caught them, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just doing a frame by frame of somebody's chins. I would kindly, gently remind them how pathetic they are and to please seek help out of love. This is tough love. And obviously they have no one in their life to do that. Smelly Kelly. Um, I don't know. Smelly Kelly, probably soon. Hopefully. <laughs> right, babe? Like, come on. No way, Black Celine started a channel? Get out of here. Rhonda. Oh, I missed you, by the way, Rhonda. Okay, I have to go check that out. Yes, we do. Is it still the same Black Zillion Kisses? She's funny. So funny. And good at roasting. We all feel like that at times, girl. <laughs> uh, the new Beetlejuice. I hope so too, Sylvia. The trailer looks... I'm excited to see the same people, but then I see, then I saw Jenna Ortega. And like, they just, like, they just, I hate when they use one actor or actress and they use them for, they like, typecast them. Like she was in, uh, she was Wednesday Adams. You know, they always try to put her in these like gothy, moody kind of, like, you know, I'm too goth to be cool. I'm too, I'm goth so I'm cool kind of movies. It's like annoying. I don't know. Thanks, hello more. A new omen? I haven't even seen the original. No, I think I saw the original a long time ago and that's it. They had no Italian, Joanne, they had no Italian food. Thanks, Snoozy, yeah, it does. I did it on, on purpose. Timothy Chalamet, he's another one right now. Before it was that one girl from uh, Euphoria. What's her name? Like, they just go on these, like, you know. Ugh. I hate when they don't use people from the race of the person they're 
portraying in the movie. I hate that. Like in Dune, Timothy Chalamet as that, um, who was the Middle Eastern person? <laughs> I don't know, forgive me, but I saw a lot of like Arab people complaining about that. Use an Arab person. What? There's not one single Arab actor you can use. You have to put pointy chin Chalamet. <sighs> anyway, yeah, Zendaya. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of these actors are overrated. I can do a better. I can do a better job. Let me see here. Um, what can I do? Timothy's character is supposed to be white. Really? No. He's playing Bob Dylan. Aladdin should have done it. DXR, I 0% agree with that. It's sci-fi. No, but isn't there like a Middle Eastern character? I saw a lot of people complaining about that. It's like, I can't remember the name. The, the Meti or something? The Meti? Okay, I don't know. I just saw people complaining about it. <laughs> no, I don't want to watch the movie, thank you. Because I don't like Zendaya and I don't like Timothy Chalamet, so they would annoy me the whole movie. I mean, I don't like not like them as people, I just mean like they get on my nerves, okay? And a lot of things get on my nerves. We should make a movie. <laughs> no, I can't act. Well, yeah, actually, I'm the best actor in the world. <clears throat> yeah, boobies. Babe! <laughs> Loyalty Beezer Club. <laughs> it was like seven months. Tell me this. Sick, sick action channels. They don't have a single life obsessing with other lives going by frame without telling me they don't. Right? Yes, that's what I said. Pretty shit. Pretty shit. Pretty shit. <laughs> I didn't even know you were still a member. That's so cute. Yeah, all right. So, it is true, yeah. Uh, like, that's a new low, going frame by frame for what? To reveal that I'm fat? Like, I'm on camera, people have eyes, they don't need your um, inspector gadget analysis. Kina Bear, snacky treats and peanuts for the OG Rat King Howard, love for Howie. Maybe a new Princess Peach Bride? Thank you, Kina Bear. Thank you so much, that's so sweet. Actually, I'm gonna go get Howie just for you and give him some something left over. What can I give him? A chapati? He likes bread. A little piece. Won't hurt him. I'm giving him a lot worse. <laughs> right, babe? Yeah. A hundred. Have you watched any Arab dramas? No, oh, I never do. Salah, though, does. <laughs> I outed you, babe. Lisa P. Remember for 10? Thank you, Lisa. Sorry I'm being saucy today, guys, but if you were me, you would understand. Lisa is so sick. No coming back. She's she's stunted. Thank you. Ready, chef? <laughs> Thanks, Lisa P. <clears throat> uh, Tara Drop, hi! You're just in time. I was gonna go get Howard. I'm gonna miss thing. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute it. You big man. Look. <laughs> you freak of nature. He put it in his cheek. Oh no. No no. Hi T. He <laughs> stuffed it. <laughs> you big man. <laughs> you big man. <laughs> he put it in his cheeks. You know how cute you are, or you don't know? <laughs> Julia. Don't worry, I won't let her get him. He's the cutest. His little hands. Why did you stuff it in your cheek? You're gonna save it for later? Hmm? Mm, you big man. No, I'm not. Tuna Sambusa, yes. Hi, Angel of Mercy. You have mice? <laughs> Howard. Hi, Owie. Don't go towards Julia. Look at Julia. Come see. I would never let her get him. Oh, no. It's just a hamster. Okay, you're going back, Hal. Go away. Go eat your. I'll eat you all. You big man. Oh. You big man.
You're a good girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> oh. <sighs> the carpenters? No live murders. She just wants to be friends. I got this too, yesterday. Here's the charm I was talking about trying to find a necklace for, for my grandma. It's a sterling silver little cat. If I, like, why is everything still in the bag then? Okay. Aren't you guys tired of being wrong? It must be exhausting. I got a new one of these, remember? My old black one? Look how worn it is. <laughs> so I got one of the same, but this one is worn. I'll just wear it in the house or something. And to go with this under cap, actually, I got this new blue hijab yesterday. <clears throat> the, the shopping footage from the hijab place, I'll put it in the next vlog I do, as I forgot to put it in the other one. Now this is gonna look dumb over so many hijabs, but kind of like this. <laughs> kind of like that. Come see, come sa. You like the black hair, Da? Blue is my color. I think um, like winter colors are more suitable for like my skin tone, you know? But yeah, so I got this nice blue hijab. <clears throat> Thank you, SVP. With the loose, thank you, Kiki, Kiki, Kiki. What song? Which song? Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like, where's my water? Eh. Out. Close to you. Pair this one with a light one. Yeah. Maybe. Hey. Tally hon. Tally hon. Tally hon in Arabic means come here, by the way. Tally. For a girl, tally. And for a guy, tal. Right, babe? You can't wear black. I know. This thing doesn't catch cat hair. I like the material on it. That's why I wear it. You know? <clears throat> yes, exactly. Teardrop. As I told you, perfect hijab color, as I told you. Thanks, babe. Yeah, you did help me pick it out. Red, also nice. The worst is ham. <laughs> I like some things ham color. You should try a light yellow. Oh my gosh. I don't know about that. The only thing is like the hijab will change, change your face shape, right? Because it's like cutting a lot of flesh. So <sighs> thank you. <sighs> Thanks, Buzz Champ. Matches my eyes. My eyeshadow. Yeah. <sighs> Tamam. Yeah. Kifik. Kifik. For girl. Kifak. For man. Kifik means how are you? And then you can answer. Tamam. Went, and then you can ask how are you? Went to Kifak or Kifik. And then, or you can say alhamdulillah, like, thank God, I'm good. Totally fits. Easter egg. <laughs> beige? No, I don't like beige. Hi. I like gray. I love gray cats. I don't know. I've always had gray cats. Olive swing tone. I love olive tones. Yeah. Afwan. <laughs> yeah, you say Afwan after shukran, after thank you. The reporters on Al Jazeera wear lovely turbans. There's a lot of nice ones out there. Yeah. Why do fruit flies suddenly appear every time I am near? That's because I am so smelly. No, I'm just joking. Hi. What are you looking at? Come here. I want to show you off to people because you're cute. <laughs> what did Akina say? Anyways, what was I going to say? At the end of the day, hey, 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 yeah, don't care what you say, hey, 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 professional whiten, yeah, I would, but I wouldn't get veneers or something like this. I think it changes like I'm afraid of, of them shaving down my teeth that freaks me out 
Kina. It is 29.17. Fruit flies like sweet stuff, yeah. Not smelly stuff. I are busy. Is it common for women to work in Kuwait? Yeah. My birthday soon. <laughs> Beige Sam's leg. <laughs> yes. What are you talking about? Mind your business? I forget the conversation. You find Kuwait housewives judgmental because they're so no. I never talked to a Kuwait housewife though. Maybe once. She was very nice. I simply ravishing. Honestly, I don't care if people judge me at the end of the day. Like, yeah, I rage a lot sometimes. Well, not a lot, but like not just rage, but like point out like hypocrisies and like stuff like that. But really, at the end of the day, I don't really care, you know, for example, what some somebody who looks or acts like FFG, for example, like thinking of the most obvious, like or somebody like just beaten today, like what they really think about me, how I look. I know how I look. I like how I look. Um, I know I'm fat, <laughs> whatever, you know. Who cares? Anyways, people's looks, I guess, in, at, at the end are just irrelevant, whatever. You know, unfortunate for some people, but whatever. <laughs> Don't get veneers teeth, are great. Thank you, Nosferatu. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is I never left you. <laughs> is that the Evita song? It's what in your heart that counts. Yeah. Really? Thank you, Simply Ravishing. You're all beautiful, too. Yeah, my teeth, I don't know. They need some whitening, I guess. Weight can be lost, but inner evil is forever. <laughs> oh, this tag. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> Unless you walk on water, you can miss me with your judgment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Watch the haters try to walk on water. <laughs> the, the same haters going to hate. You can't battle all your haters. You can't do it. You know, you can pick on a few, but you can't battle them all. <laughs> just racing <laughs> Vanessa <laughs> you reverted 10 years ago my voice is professional <laughs> it's fake teeth but we'll never admit it so, I mean fake teeth do look good on some people some people they look too big you know like weird but I've seen like people like turkey teeth some people get a good job done there but a lot of them I've seen they don't leave enough space and then it causes people to get infections and things all the reactors use the word bees. Yeah, I'm a trendsetter. Hello. Beezing is a way of life, you know. Don't get them too white. Yeah. Hi, Cozy. Most celebrities have fake. Yeah. I mean, when you have a lot of money, you start thinking, how can I improve myself? And a lot of it is pressure, you know. Gary Busey. Eric Charons, mashallah. Yeah, the brown and blue. I think like a nice beige would look better under hair, yeah. Teardrop, really? <laughs> Hi, baby girl, let up skis. I'm gonna throw this cap so she can play with it. She, her favorite toys are bottle caps. Do you know how many toys she has under the sofa? Well, no, this sofa. Yeah, she has toys under there, I'm sure. There's space. <laughs> Kina Bear. <laughs> No, I'm okay, Brooke, eh? <laughs> Kina, what pets do you have? I have a hamster, son, I have a, so I have a hamster, and I have a cat, yes. Yes, I do, yeah. Julia's fishy fish, oh my gosh. So every evening when we watch a movie, or almost every evening, she lays beside me, or Salah, and we both complain every time, because she gets close to us, and then she'll she'll look up at us and yawn right in our face and it smells because we feed her tuna flavored tuna chicken flavored wet food i don't know if it per like i don't know cat breath stinks like anyways it smells like hot gas and fish you're playing with the bubble cap it reeks <sighs> yes april if i croak then he'll take care of my cat our cat it's not mine it's ours maybe maria a lot of like muslims i've been following a few of them have moved to malaysia 
visit Egypt, inshallah, someday. Hot gas and fish. And it's hot, too. Hot breath. So look, look, look up and go. Big yawn. Big yawn. <laughs> I don't brush her mouth. She won't even let me open her mouth. And I feel bad, so I don't do it. I faint by the smell of cat breath. It reeks. Hey, babe. Haters, aka morons, aka brainless, aka losers, aka immigrants. <laughs> we'll keep talking shit online and trash about the Queen Miriam as long as they talk, talk zombies, cheer them up, they watch them because of Miriam only. Yes. <laughs> Queen Miriam! Thanks, babe! Babe, can you agree that Julia has fishy breath? <sighs> yeah, right, Blue Pot. <laughs> Yeah, I'd have to pay. I would rather pay someone to brush her teeth. Hi, Golden Girl! How are you doing? Hi, Beezers. Yeah, Michelle, I heard that. Hi, Joanna. Why are you He's so jealous? Julia with the tuna breath. She has smelly, smelly breath. I like the smell of cat, though. Like, I like the smell of whenever I kiss her, I huff her head. Whatever, I leave. Your company is left. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. I get exhausted after having company for two hours. <laughs> uh, yeah. My do uh, dog's breath is the worst. Yeah, it's worse. I find they have bigger mouths, I guess. I don't know. No, you're not blocked. I, mean, I only like the smell of my cat's paws. In the litter box, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they smell like corn chips, eh? The blocking finger. Stop being drama queen. <laughs> Sassy Salah. Three weeks? Oh my gosh, the golden girl. In two days, you were counting. <laughs> okay, let's have more water. <sighs> yeah, you're supposed to not have conflict or anything during Ramadan. But then again, most people are not followed by hundreds of brain dead morons. <laughs> uh, most people live very private lives. Sometimes I envy that. I have to tell you. Yeah, so I want a silver chain, but I like, isn't it true? Babe, Muslim women don't wear gold, right? No, don't wear silver. But this is silver. I like it. Look at 12 months prego with such a beautiful face. I'm not saying I love being obese. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm also not going to hate myself. What does that achieve? Yeah, true teardrop. White gold is okay. Or silver. More cooking videos? I don't know the reason behind it, Eileen. Muslim men cannot wear gold, yeah. Oh, white gold necklace. Yeah, that's what you guys mean. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> bye! Oh, bye, ghost face! Hey, probably glad to hear that, but I'm really busy with my business and health issue, but of course we will be back for couples videos. No other reason than what I said. Yeah. Thank you, Leslie. Yeah, his company's always coming out with different, like, lines of different types of products. <clears throat> so. I don't know the reason. No, you can't have my necklace. Come. 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 pretty girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. She's too hyper. Yeah, I keep the, the yeah, exactly. Blue pot. <laughs> yeah, you're trans. Exactly. I don't care about individuals. I like who I like and follow who I follow. I've been following Chantal for a long time. Same with Candy. Even some reaction people like Jordan because he's adorable. Yeah, like, everyone can follow who they want, you know? She likes to be touched, Marie, but not... Sometimes she she doesn't love to be picked up, I notice. Um, a lot of cats don't. But she loves to be pet. Like, if I'm 
if we're laying still and chilling out, she loves to come up to us and we pet her all like all night. I don't know if she was an outdoor cat. We got her from a friend of Salah's and like somebody Salah knew. And um, she could have been somebody that they picked up outside and kept her and like gave her away. I'm not sure. Hi, Pam Anderson. Hey, Energy Agon. Hi, Ma. And who else? Camilla. Pickles, yum. She might have been. Most cats <laughs> from the streets here. You saw that gang of cats. I know people felt bad for those cats, but they were not amazed. They were well fed. Like they were in a crowd and Salah was concerned about these cats because the way they were acting and crying, it was like they were like, don't you come near our stuff. Like they were in a gang, you know, instead of the friendly individual cats at the park. So these were like, they gave off a different vibe. <laughs> Hi, please stand by. Thanks for being here, Rhonda. Thank you, Rhonda Mubarak. Thank you. Nice to see you, Beezer. She's almost two. She's beautiful. She's graceful. She's almost two. She's the princess for me. Hold on, I gotta give her some food. Boy, you want some crunchy crunch? Okay, I'll give you some crunchy crunch. You have crunchy crunch. Yeah. Come on, no more crunchy crunch. Yeah. <laughs> the big yell. Yeah, she's almost two. Who's that wonderful girl? Uh huh. Could she be any cuter? Uh uh. <laughs> a main coon? I think Salah was. I mean, Salah. <laughs> Salah part main coon. I think Sam was part main coon. An outfit for Eid. Not yet. I still have time. Hi, Alpha C Tango! Rat face. I don't know why I do that. Anyways. Why are you a piggy pig? <laughs> yeah, so I yell. I need Kleenex. She looks Persian. Yeah, she has a smushy face. When she looks, her side profile is so cute. Because, you know, like, I'm not used to, like, BBJ and Sam, they had noses, you know? Her, it's like smoosh. <laughs> so, boy. She, uh, that makes me feel like she's part Persian, at least. Cutie yell. <laughs> She's so cute. Your side profile is funny. It's smooshy, smoosh. Smooshy, smoosh. Aww. You have six cats? Julia's so cute. Thank you. Me, I have... No, no. I had two cats before. The smoosh gets me every time, yeah. <laughs> Aww. This chat is the best ever. I agree, babe. I have three cats and two dogs. Oh my gosh, must keep you busy. Who's losing teeth? Who's the wonderful girl? <laughs> Thanks, Susie. They're still alive. At least one is, I think. No, Sam is definitely alive. I'm losing all my teeth? No, I only have the same two that are missing. <laughs> but we're all going to lose our teeth at some point. Sucks, but happens. You have a cat and a hamster? Nice, Michelle. Hijab cover, they look so pretty on you. Which ones? This one? This is a hijab. Hijab. And this is all, this is my favorite material. It's not, it's not, it's like a, it's not like a jersey, but it is. I don't know. But I want to get more of these. <laughs> Julia, Julia is hood? What? <laughs> Julia? <laughs> Julia's a hood cat. Aw, that's not nice. Oh, well, she's a hood cat. They're just worth, just as valuable as any other cat, okay? And let me tell you, purebred Persians, they look like Wilfred Brimley, okay? So, ooh. <laughs> yeah, this is the heat, the cap. And this is the hijab. Basically, though, anything covering you is called a hijab. Thank you, Pam! <laughs> She's not hood, just a mutt. Julia gets ghetto, she would handle Sam. <laughs> Flower. Baby girl. Sam, you have a just racing today. I do not like her, but there's one direction channel. I do like your mama. <laughs> Yo, mama, yeah. Yeah, Vanessa, right? Julia has hood breath. <laughs> what the hell does that even mean, hood? Hood, Julia. I have a real person, Julia's hood. <laughs> what? That's so mean. What does that even mean? I don't even know. 
Julia! Anyway, there's nothing wrong with coming from the hood, okay? All right? <laughs> there's nothing wrong, who cares? Okay, first of all, question. Is ghetto the same as hood? And if it is, I'm assuming it just means that you come from an area that's in a different socioeconomic class, which means, who cares? I lived in the hood as a kid a few times. It was kind of traumatic, but actually one building we lived in, oh my gosh, I told you about this, I think, right, when I was young. That's where, this is where I developed my fear of elevators because the fire alarms and the electricity would always go off and we got stuck in an elevator once. It was bad. A few times I got stuck in an elevator as a kid. The ghetto means poor. Why do people make fun of it then if it means poor? You shouldn't make fun of poor people. Tree lady? <laughs> Babe, the daylight is stunning behind you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's because it's right near the window. Maybe people think that. I don't know. You're seasoned? Yes, Canadians love ketchup chips. She's a, she's, she has to at least be part Persian. Hi, Lauren. Uh, ketchup flavored chips, I order. They're really good. They taste like a bit different, but almost similar to barbecue. Hi, Leslie Cat! Have you seen their apartment complex? It is not hood. Yeah, oh, here? No, we're not in that. I don't know. I don't think we're in the hood. I don't even know if that exists. Like, I don't know what that technically that is. Like, I don't know. <laughs> What qualifies as, you know, Cornwall is the hood. <laughs> yeah, true. Aw, uh, April. Siamese. Who's that wonderful girl? Could she be any cuter? No way. I did my own makeup, Taylor. What country is that? Yeah, we have ketchup chips here, too. Saw come say hi. I don't think so. There is no large villas in there. Oh, yes, that's true. Kuwaiti areas are different, separate. <laughs> I don't care. I, I don't mind where we live. I don't mind uh, mixing with expats and stuff. It doesn't bug me. Been basically poor my whole life and not ashamed to say it. Yeah, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Actually, it's more shameful for. No, never mind. I won't get into that. I was going to say for people to be super rich and be like, I hope really rich people share the wealth deal. Oh, Saudi Arabia. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was a, Saudi was a different flag. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we have them here too. We have a lot of Saudi Arabian products like Kinza soda. <laughs> I've many times of being poor and having tons of money. I've learned it doesn't really make a lot of difference as long as the bills are paid, I'm good. That's true. When I was making a lot more money, I didn't don't notice the difference really in I was like more miserable even. You know. Yes, we do give to charity actually. I mean, not a ton of money, but if we had more. Um, there's actually like calculators of like what you should be giving based on how much you make. <laughs> So you can figure out like what's you know good to give based on your income. What food does he hate that Westerners love? Mm. He doesn't love cheeseburgers, right, babe? You don't love them. If I give you, if I give him a bite, he'll be like, "Not bad," but he doesn't ever order a cheeseburger. Applebee's, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> How does that music go in Sonic again? I forget. Are the buses in your parking lot for the expat workers? Um, there's buildings around ours. Like, this building is a family building. So when you want to rent here, you have to show that you're either married. Well, you have to be married. You have to show you're married. But you have to either be, like, married. You can't just be, like, a single guy. A lot of the expat workers, yeah, those are buses, like, that take them to their work and back. 
Um, so sometimes you see like hundreds, like a lot of people coming off. But um, yeah, a lot of people from different countries come here to work, particularly like from India, the Philippines. And um, they, there's a lot of buildings around in the area that do house, like usually the employer will pay for their, their room and board and food and stuff like that and transportation. So that's why. <clears throat> yeah. Very different like reality than, no, it's not really. We have a lot of expat. We have a lot of uh, migrant workers in Canada too. They must work very hard. Yeah. You can't be single and rent here. That's like the number one proof <laughs> that we're married without ever showing anybody anything. They don't, they don't deserve it, but you have to be married. Like we had to show our certificate to live here. So to, he doesn't dislike cheeseburgers. Yeah, he doesn't like or hate cheeseburger exactly. <laughs> What's one thing? I don't know, babe. Hi, Louis. You he liked shepherd's pie, but he didn't love it, and he didn't like that there was corn in it. Where do single people live? Um, there's some. I don't know. There must be some buildings that you can just rent. I guess if you're single, babe. I don't know really. But there's some buildings you have to be fam that are family only and they'll say family only. So there must be some buildings where you can rent for just single people. Bachelor, I think they call it. Yeah, there is because whatever, yes, because you lived as a bachelor before, babe, in an apartment. So there are some that are like that. Um, so yeah. I don't know if they have Airbnbs. They have hotels. I never said he was rich and had a mansion. Actually, having your own car in your own place and money to afford bills and food is rich in a lot of ways. If you think about it nowadays, it's so hard to live these days for a lot of people. Students in long-stay tours can live alone. Yeah, unless, you, unless you're unless you in a specific building that says family only. You just have to have Wasta. <laughs> you know Wasta, right? <laughs> yeah. Wasta, Wasta. Yeah, there's only families and there's only single people for rent here for sure. Airbnbs. <laughs> yeah, we could become rich. <laughs> yeah, Brooke, I heard that. But only for non-Muslim people, like travelers, right? Really, Marie? Family only for people with kids. Could be a married couple too, because maybe we like they're planning on having kids. So family only means you have to be married or have a family, yeah. Hi, Darity. Are the buildings for singles co-ed? Mm, I don't think it's not legal, Krista, for men and women to live together if they're not married. So, yeah. <laughs> One month you'll be an expat? No way, Darity, really? It's just some, some buildings just only want families. You have food. Why are you sniffing the food bag? <gasps> are you going to give me gray hair? Maybe, yes. I don't know if women can rent or not. Honestly, I don't know the rules. Do they have single men only buildings and single women buildings? I don't know, Krista. I don't know, babe. Do they have buildings only for women? Oh, hmm. I didn't know that. Do you hear her drinking water? Baby, yeah. Hi. <laughs> You've given up on men. <laughs> mind your business needs to mind their business. <laughs> Hi. You pretty yellow and sugar skins. There are loads of Ford women. She lives in Omen, though. Women here can rent an apartment here alone or ask families buildings. They have two options, but the men only one option, which is the single building rent. <laughs> oh, really? The women can live in the family's building. Okay. Okay, Elamore, thanks for being here. Thank you. What, Applebee's? What is that? An American vlogger teacher. 
I, yeah, there's a few that have uh, social media. Thank you, Darity. <laughs> so single women can live in family buildings. Ah. If they have kids. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is when we rented here, he had to show Salah. Had to show uh, his residency, his uh, income, making a certain amount of money, and our marriage certificate we showed. That's all I know. So many rules. The other problem is having enough money to pay rent anywhere. I know. I know. I don't know what Jasmine's is. The moonshine. Oh my gosh. Are you trying to die? <laughs> Can you use Wasta? <laughs> you guys in your Wasta! <laughs> Yeah, true, I said that, yeah. It depends on the building, too. Like, some buildings don't want single people, no matter man or woman, I'm pretty sure. Right, babe? <laughs> I'm, yeah, I don't think I ever had moonshine, did I? I don't know. You guys would know more than me. Excuse me. The white claw. Remember when people were obsessed with that drink? Ugh. <sighs> teachers from other countries. A lot of teachers, because whenever you come to work here, you need an employer and you're, you're under contract with that employer on a work visa. So a lot of them will provide your place for you. A lot of teachers included, they get provided an apartment. So they don't really have to seek out their own apartment. So, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of kids here, but we don't really hear our neighbors that often, not compared to the other place. Maybe because there's only like three apartments per floor, don't know. Moonshine pickles. <laughs> I hate the heat. Yeah. It's, you, ugh, the summer here is, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's literally the hottest place on the planet. Like, other than uh, Death Valley, which I think it's pretty on par with. I don't even know. Every time, I see a lot of news articles that say that Kuwait's the hottest recorded temperature on the planet. We hired an immigration lawyer? That's smart. Beth Bopinho. Yes, I've made that before. It's so good. J'aime bien le bœuf bourguignon. Dolmaz. Yes. What's the hottest recorded temperature of Death Valley? I wonder. Cold winters. Cold as in it goes down sometimes to like one. It goes down to um, maybe 12 degrees, 10 degrees Celsius. The coldest. Never in the minus. Dolmas of the side, yes. How many geysers? I don't know, Vanna. The desert is cold at night, yeah. 130, which is what Celsius, I wonder. Here it's been up to sometimes, I think it was recorded at like minus 55. I mean, 55 degrees Celsius. That's hot. No, it doesn't snow here. No. 80 degrees is hot for me. I know. <laughs> 60 Celsius in the summer. Yeah, you're right, babe, actually. I remember seeing that. The deserts. Yeah, the desert is nice. Especially if you're not from here, but I can imagine, Salah, you're probably sick of it a bit. Like, being here your whole life. You know, you kind of want to see some more green and some more... I like coming from Four Seasons, but I don't like... I don't love winter. Thank you, Tommy Wiso. Wow, Duck Puppet. Ugh, it's hot. I never tried snowboarding. I tried skiing. Okay, so it's actually been hotter off the tango here. It's been like up to 60. It's crazy. And some people work outside in that. <laughs> like, it's not funny, but... You're from the Philippines? Texas heat is different. Uh, yeah, tropical and... Yeah. You like the colder temperature, a teardrop like me. 
Switzerland. Really? Uh, SUNY Wanderer. It works in the heat. 55 centigrade. I don't know, Jack. We don't have to pay for utilities, alhamdulillah. But our AC is on year round. <laughs> it never goes off. <laughs> never, never, never. <laughs> it's it a lot hotter than people think. Ugh. Anyways, guys and girls and uh, whatever else you identify as, I don't know. I feel like I need to be more inclusive. I hate saying guys and girls, especially when there's more genders than that. They can keep the snowy like hot weather. <laughs> I know Golden Girl, he's snowbird. That's a jerboa. I've been to a couple moss Murray, but not often. I like to pray in the home. Jerboas? I gotta go Google that. It's hot in Jeddah. Yeah, I bet. Long legged mouse. Oh, I've seen that. Cute. Okay, guys. Yeah, you too, Dirty. Everybody, have a good night. I'm going to get off of here now. Go re relax with my family. <laughs> Are you ready, babe? Yeah, true, babe. Kuwait weather is something else. I, whenever, whenever, I didn't research Kuwait before coming here when uh, Salah was like, you should come visit me. So I was like, yeah, I need to go to Kuwait. What an adventure that will be. Then I saw after, Kuwait is the hottest country. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, and I hate the heat. Hate it. Okay, good night, guys. Thanks for beezing, and we'll bees again soon. Inshallah. All right. Good night, Shirsha. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. I'm just getting off. Oh, boy. Okay, good night, guys. <laughs> Bye.